Well, unfortunately, we have a fatality in the Grauen Pond, so the little Shisui, about, I don't know, 15 centimetres, uh, has succumbed. To be honest, um, he's not been feeding like the rest of them ever since he first went in. Uh, but you know, there's, there's no, there's no real issue with that. It just is what it is. I've had three uh, breed, I've had fish, sorry, from three different breeders, as you know, and they've all gone into the same tank. They've all been PP'd, but you know, it, uh, it's not a guarantee. But anyway, I scraped him, obviously, and I have found uh, Chilladonella. So not massive numbers or anything. Um, and there was no real flicking and flashing. I mean, after they'd had something to eat, there's, uh, there's a couple of them just uh, did a couple of rubs and then stopped. And I watched the tank for a hell of a long time. But anyway, so, yeah, it's a shame. But there you go, one fatality. And as I say, it is Chilladinella. So it's, it's that one to anybody that doesn't know what Chilladinella looks like. So my preferred treatment for that at this moment in time is the good old NT Labs FMG anti-parasite and fungus treatment. So I've just um, I've just done a clean. As you can see, it's topped it up again now. I've just done a clean. All these, are, as I say, seem extremely healthy. I wish you could figure a way of uh, filming these without getting my reflection on, but I can't. So apologies. There's uh, Bingo, Claire's favourite, I think. Little Bingo spot achiever. But anyway, I'm going to get the treatment in and then uh, I'll come back to you once it's in. So there we have a watering can of uh, very greeny blue liquid. So that's uh, FMG mixed to the manufacturer's instructions. Take a last look at the fish uh, under normal colour. And I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to pop this in. I'm not sure whether I can do it one-handed. Or even whether I want to do it one-handed. It might splash everywhere, but... See where we go. There you go. Just going to put a bit in at a time. Over the next uh, quarter of an hour, half an hour or so, just keep adding a bit, adding a bit, adding a bit, and then uh, we'll see what the end result looks like. Should have finished topping up by then as well. It's still, uh, it's still topping up. Well, there we are, folks. It's like a game of hide and seek now, as you can see the water is uh, a lovely dark green colour. So we'll just see how they uh, they get on with this treatment and uh, yeah, I'll see how they go for the next few days and then we'll, uh, we'll do some more scrapes and see if they need uh, need a second treatment but uh, it's in so that's it apologies for the reflection um i'll give you an update when uh, when i've got an update for you i just wanted to uh, sort of make it very clear i know i said earlier in the video that the, th the fish that are uh, in the pond come from three different dealers so the uh, chilladinella may have come from one of those but don't forget, there were already five fish in the pond that I had out of the big pond. Now the big pond has no signs of it. They they all scrape clean all the while. I've just uh, did another one uh, this morning just to double check after uh, finding that one. They're still uh, they're still scraping clear. And to be honest, there weren't that much on the um, on the one that's popped his clogs. So um, you know, PP dipping what I do every time but the whole point of this tank behind um, I'm calling it a grow on but it's a grow on slash quarantine it's just an opportunity for identifying things like this and treating them before actually putting the fish in with the big pond now I know everybody can't um, can't afford one or they, can't, they haven't got the space for one it's too much uh, you know too much aggro sort of thing um, but it is you know if you can do it that, that is my recommendation but uh, as I say Costia trick yeah, Chilladinella it's um, FMG for me is the treatment I use um, lots of different manufacturers out there making different concoctions uh, just take your, uh, you know, make your choice and take your chances. But uh, as I said earlier, I'll pop back to you because I'm waffling now. I'll pop back to you once uh, we've got some update on these.